So me, I'm working locally with DSA to plug into the South Bay Mutual Aid Network and to do things like that, to make sure that we have coalition partners in what we're trying to do. I think is to support organizing, help others that have energy and how we channel this energy. So that's on the local level. And me personally, I'm with trying to hook up with bigger groups and organize with them and do things on a national level. My wife and I will like walk the blocks and kind of like check in on neighbors and stuff uh, kind of in the afternoons and just see how folks are doing. Um, and so we have like a couple of phone numbers, a couple of email addresses for um, most of our neighbors. And um, we've sent out like information on applying for like family medical leave or like unemployment insurance for anyone experiencing hardship during this time. We kind of produced like a like a flyer that we delivered to um, like every door. Um, and we have like a helpline for neighbors that we set up. It's just like a Google phone number that folks can call and ask questions like if they need groceries or assistance with something or they have a question about like, you know, the utility bill getting shut off or something which isn't supposed to be happening. Um, they can call that helpline and get help from a neighbor. People should have the right to food. People should have the right to shelter. People should have the right to education. People should have the right to healthcare. Um, and then we look at our community's capacity to create the structures and economies necessary to provide that on a reci reciprocity basis. You don't got money, fine, but be part of the community, reciprocate, and let's help to create this and sustain it. That's what I'd like to see DSA and other community organizations go towards because we, our leadership failed and it will continue to fail and it's not serving us.